Hi guys, it's Mary. Um, I've not done cooking shows in quite a while, um, three or four months, and I'm going to try to start up again. My great daughter, Leisha, who is ex barkish bought me a MacBook so that I have no excuse but to do videos again. So, we're going to go back at it. Um, what we're going to make today is um, some apricot squares. They're cookies, they're simple, they're just delicious. And we're gonna, you could do a lot of different varieties with these. I've been making them since, I guess, my kids were in kindergarten, so that's a long time. Um, they're, um, so this recipe is very easy. We'll give you the recipe, will be in the sidebar over. I believe it's gonna be over there. I'm not quite sure. What you're gonna use is, I'm gonna use butter. You could use margarine, and I'm gonna use a stick and a half, okay, which would be 12 tablespoons. One stick of butter, half a cup, eight tablespoons, okay? So we're gonna use butter. We're gonna use sugar, flour, coconut, pecans, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of baking powder, and an egg. Simple, easy, relatively very, very inexpensive. Let's get started. Um, first of all, you're gonna cream the butter. So when the butter is at room temperature, all you're gonna use is a fork or um, a wooden spoon or something like that. And what you want to do is you want to cream your butter and your sugar, okay? This is a cup of sugar that's just going to go in there. And mix the two together. I find using a fork is, is the easiest way to go. So we're going to, we're going to cream those two together. And this is the same thing you would do if you're going to make cookies or anything like that. When they say cream the butter and, and sugar together or soft ingredients together, could be butter, could be cream cheese, you want to just mix the two together so they're all incorporated. I'll crack an egg over your bowl because if the egg's no good and goes in there are a few ingredients down the line, you could basically lose a good portion of your ingredients. So I'm going to put an egg in there, okay, and just mix that in. We're going to put apricot jam and boysenberry jam in them. You could put strawberry jam, blueberry jam, any kind of jam that you like. Um, a lot of people don't care for apricot. It's really good. Okay, um, two cups of flour, okay. Um, a little bit at a time. And this is where you could put your baking powder in at that time too. I'm going to put my vanilla in at this point. Um, it's a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to stir this up and I'll be back in one second. Okay, so after you have the butter and the sugar and the flour mixed together, I put the vanilla in there and I also put the um, baking powder. I'm going to take coconut and it's a cup and a third of coconut. Um, and it's shredded coconut. This is what it looks like. It comes in a bag like this. Um, Baker's is a good brand. Um, a lot of the store brands are okay. Um, I prefer this, but if you can't find this, the store brands are okay. Um, and, and it's just flaky coconut. That's all it is. It's just flaky. I'm going to go in there, and you're going to mix that in. And what this is going to be, this is sort of going to be your base and your topping. So it's two at the same time. Um, and also you're going to put in there pecans. Um, I chopped up some pecans fine because they're a cookie, okay? So that's a little bit, about a half a cup of those, okay? So you're just going to mix these things together and then heat my oven to 350. So I mixed this up, okay? Kind of crummy. I did use my hands. Um, you could fight with it or wash your hands, get in there and just put it all together and it's just fine. I'm going to take about half of this mixture, and this is just a 9 by 13 pan. So what I'm doing, I'm just patting this down on the bottom, and you kind of just guesstimate how much you're actually going to use on the top and on the bottom. Um, you could use like a dough roller if you have one, just to spread it evenly. So you're just basically going to put this on the bottom of your pan. That is going to be your crust, okay? You're going to take when any kind of jam that you want. I do half apricot and half boysenberry, and actually the ones that kind of mix together in the middle, are the best, but it doesn't usually work out for some reason to mix them. I'm not sure why. I can't answer that. So this is just a little spreader, but it works really good. So you're just going to spread your jam on the bottom, okay? Um, I, I can't say I really use measurements for this. I just coat it and have it maybe, I don't know, an eighth of an inch thick. You don't want it too thick because it will be oozing all over the place, and you want it to set up, and you just want it to be in the middle of a cookie, okay? So you could kind of, you could kind of tell how much you need there. I'm going to do that one side with the apricot and the other side with the boysenberry jam. just can't use jelly. Um, I would think that jelly 
would be a little bit too thin. Um, you want, you know, the pieces of fruit in it, where jam and um, marmalade are pretty much, I believe, the same. All right, and then you're just going to take your top, okay, and just crumble it up and stick it on there. So I'm just breaking it up and putting it on there. You don't want to totally cover um, the top. You don't want to co totally cover the cookies on the top. So you want it to be kind of clumpy almost. I'll show you in just a second. Here's how it looks. Okay, so you're just going to put those pieces on top, pat it down just a little bit. You're going to put it in a 350 oven. Okay, for, um, I'm going to, I'll put the actual time in there. The way I usually tell the jam's bubbling and starting it to get a little brown on top, then it's good to go. It seems like it cooks a little bit different every time. Um, 20 minutes, 25, I'm going to say 25 to 30 minutes, but we'll, we'll take a look when it comes out today. So we're going to pop it in the oven, pop it in the oven. We'll see you back in a little bit and take it out and take a look and have a taste and like that. Oh, the cookies are out of the oven, 25 minutes. They look pretty good. Um, you want it just to be brown on top. You don't want to overcook them because the um, jam seems to kind of get stuck around the edges of your pan. I've never used, because I use stoneware all the time, I don't usually grease my pan, um, but I would think maybe if you're using a glass pan or a, a metal pan, maybe pam it or, you know, use a little grease on it. A little bit won't hurt. And check them out. They're really hot. I let them cool way off. Take them out. Nice little squares. Don't make them too big because they're a little bit on the rich side. Um, normally you could pick it up and eat it just like a bar. I'm just going to Mm -mm -mm. Very, very good. So until next time, we'll see ya.